Hi guys, so it's just me and Poppy Dog this week uh, for your update. Reason why is because Hunter is fast asleep downstairs and I really, really didn't want to wake him uh, to get him on camera for you. Um, so I left him downstairs with my partner. And so this week, what's been happening? Um, so we had the photo shoot done. The pictures were incredible. I absolutely loved them. If you didn't go see them, check them out on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I put a couple of them on there. Um, they were really good. I had a great time filming and um, getting them shot. Uh, my mate Jess, she's epic. Um, the pictures themselves are absolutely quality as well. I love them. Um, so that happened on the, the Saturday. And then on the Sunday, I looked down at my wound and it didn't look too good. So I ended up at hospital on Sunday night and they checked over, gave me some antibiotics and it's all okay. Uh, then I went to my parents' house, <laughs> went and spent the night with them, uh, which was really nice as well because they got to spend some time with Hunter and also my whole family met him. So my grandma finally met him. Um, on the Tuesday, we ended up at hospital again for Hunter. Where's the pause? <laughs> Woo! Woman's best friend. Um, ended up at hospital on Tuesday for Hunter's jaundice. Um, and he's below the treatment line for that. So that was really, really good news. And he's gaining weight really well. So my breast milk is obviously doing extremely well with him. Um, doing, he is doing really good. Um, he's got a bit of a sticky eye as well. Um, as his kind of tear ducts are coming forward. So breast milk being the answer to that as well. So he's doing good. Um, what else happened? Yeah, so at the start of the week, I was at hospital, then Hunter was at hospital, then we've had a few days of not much happening, and then I ended up back at maternity yesterday, um, because there, where the kind of wound wasn't looking so good, there was a hole, and the stitches hanging out, and it was like a tail. Um, so I ended up at maternity for a few hours. Um, I love that place because it's where, where Hunter landed, little starseed landed. Um, so I do, I, I love the maternity ward at our hospital. Um, but what she did, and, and if you're not squeamish, don't listen to this bit, but she got the tail end and pulled out the, the stitches from my womb oh, and cut them. Oh my God. So I've been in a lot of pain uh, in the last 24 hours. Um, and this is also another reason why today you're just having a video of me sitting on the bed with a cap on. Um, but that's the news. So I'm going to put a video out next week for Christmas. I've got a Christmas one recorded for you all. Um, other than that, we're all good. Um, I'll pop a video of Hunter on for you now so you can see him see how he's doing uh, i love you all to pieces i will speak to you soon stay blessed oh and have an incredible incredible solstice how could i forget have an incredible solstice um gonna be an amazing time of year i'm not sure if stonehenge are doing a video like they did last year but i sat at home last year watched the whole of stonehenge on the solstice uh winter solstice and then the days get lighter again god what a year it's been what a year all right, guys, love you lots. Uh, solstice blessings your way, and I will speak to you soon. Back on Thursday. Ciao. Hello angels, welcome back. I hope that you are all really good and that you had a blessed week. Uh, so this week what we're going to be doing is are you on their mind? Now I've gone for two different types of decks. Um, the first one, I don't know how many of you are Game of Thrones fans. Um, I was until the last series anyway. Um, but we have the Game of Thrones deck here and I love this deck because uh, I have the co-editor of it over here who put... Ali, 2019. Ali, wonderful to meet you with love, Liz Dean. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Um, really, really loved meeting her. So we're going to use her deck with Game of Thrones to begin with, or deck number one. And then deck number two over here is the tar Tattoo Tarot. In intuition, we're using different decks today. Deck number one and deck number two, pick your deck. Are you going to go for Game of Thrones or are you going to go for Tattoos and Tarot? 
And as you're thinking, uh, as you're picking your deck, what you should just think about your person for me. Feel that really strong pull towards them and really feeling their energy and push it to the deck you are drawn to. And if you can't feel it pushing in, I just want you to visualize like a pink or a green color, heart chakra colors going towards the deck that you like, okay? Let's do this. Deck number one. So my beloved Game of Thrones fans, let's see. Are you on their mind? And whenever I kind of go into this energy and start asking this question, I always get the song, uh, You Were Always On My Mind. Um, and it always reminds me of Practical Magic. It was like one of the best films ever. I remember going to see it in the cinema when I, when I was really young. And I was like, oh, I love this film. Okay, think about your person for me. And your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. So what we're doing now is just getting the mutual energy between you all. And let's do this so are you are the people watching on their people's mind are they on their beloved's mind one two three four are you on their mind five okay we've got a little bit of ice going on between you guys at this moment i'm just going to get three at the bottom are you on their mind one, two, three. Okay, so this situation between you guys is a little bit icy. It's probably the best way of explaining it, that it needs a little bit of thawing off time. It's been a bit intense. Potentially your person has took a step back from this connection um, and walked away. And they might have cut the connection off for a little bit. Um, but the connection between you guys is quite icy. There's been kind of a lot of complications going on with you both so maybe you're having a few arguments maybe there's been this big tower happening maybe there's been these little niggly things that have been driving you mad and driving you a little bit crazy but we have this kind of iceberg blocking the two of you at this moment in time and Spirit is saying really clearly that this iceberg needs time to thaw. So it looks like the two of you might have gone your separate ways at this present time and in that separation or in that kind of distance potentially whatever your individual circumstances are, there is this iceberg that is built up. And it's like both of you want to talk to each other, but neither of you know quite the words to communicate with one another what's actually going through your mind. So we have this need for the situation to thaw off, okay? Just like, you know, when you, you get something out of your freezer and you leave it to defrost, it kind of needs to happen with you guys. The thawing of the situation needs to occur because it has been a bit intense, it has been a bit difficult. And now there's like this little bit of an iceberg just kind of blocking the pathway between you guys progressing things forward. So we have this, they might have took a step back or you might have took a step back from the situation. You're feeling a little bit alone over this at this moment in time. You've got a kind of a sense of confusion over it all because you know that this is the person that you want to be with. Um, but you like every time you try to go to them to get answers and to ask, is anything ever going to move forward? Can we be together? You're feeling like you've been hitting a bit of a dead end road. And this is part of the reason why this iceberg has took some time to kind of build up. So we have this building of energy between you guys that has got a bit complicated. Um... And so it's been, it is a bit difficult. It has been difficult. Now, when we're looking about you being on their mind, it, you are there. You are there with the kind of star energy over here. And um, the looking forward, you know, the, the candle in this. Candles always kind of represent the creativity within us. And it's often associated with womb energy as well. The flame, the womb, the creativity, the um sacral chakra so with this kind of coming up over here when we're asking do they miss you this is indicating that yes that they do miss you you've set a, a flame this kind of creativity within them this wanting this relationship to progress forward they have that spark that you have created within them so even though they're being a little bit icy or not really talking to you at the moment once things have thawed off this is when the energy can really shift and move forward into your favour. Now, that being said, Spirit is saying to me that they feel really alone at the moment. And it's kind of, you can see it over here with this Eight of Cups energy. They are feeling very alone from the situation. They are feeling a little bit um, uncertain on the choices and decisions that they have made with their life. And they're looking out kind of in the present moment, thinking, well, 
what have I done? Is this the right thing for me have, to have done? And what am I going to do about it next? So right now, they're not really kind of coming up with any solutions on it with the two of swords over here. They're just thinking things through. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about what's going to happen next with you guys. Um, they're thinking that this energy between you guys needs a little bit of downtime. You guys are worrying uh, that perhaps they're not being honest with you. Perhaps they have been, you know... Firstly, not honest with themselves, Spirit saying, but secondly, whether they've been honest with you, you've got this kind of worry and concern over that as well. So on your part, you're worrying about them being honest with you. On their part, they're worrying about the situation, having a bit of downtime and what to do about it next. And from there, we have this kind of shift and this movement coming towards you, okay? And it's quite an immediate movement. So it's going to feel as if nothing is happening with you and your person. And then suddenly out of the blue, you've got this immediate movement stepping in. They're going to be like, oh, hi, how are you? What's going on? I missed you. Wonder what you were up to. It's going to take a couple of months, all right, for it to thaw off. Spirit is saying two to three months um, for this situation to kind of thaw the energy away or this kind of heavier energy that's been building around you both but this shift and this move in your dynamic spirit are saying isn't in the too distant future so do they miss you at this moment in time at this moment in time your person is still holding on to the situation with you okay they are still clinging on to the situation when we have the king of pentacles over here and with his energy, again, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with his energy, he's very much this kind of stable, secure, masculine energy. So when your person is feeling stable and secure, this is when they are missing you. When they're feeling better about the situation and the fact that they, you know, built this brick wall... When they're in this stable position, they miss you. When they're acting on this fear-based energy, they're hiding, okay? Um, so you have this kind of mix-up of both your energies. And Spirit just showed me really clearly then the scales, okay? So it kind of, they go backwards and forwards in their mind over the situation. When, Like I said, when they're feeling stable and feeling secure, that is when they miss you. When they're feeling a little bit insecure, a little bit lonely, that's when they try and bat it off. And they really push it to the bottom of their mind, push it to the bottom of their emotions and think, well, you know what? Um, I don't need to deal with this right now. I'll deal with it another day. I don't actually need to think on it just yet. But we have this immediate action coming in from them. So with the situation and their energy and are you on their mind, you are. And it kind of comes back to that st stable energy of... Um, then when they're in that secure place, you are on the mind. And when they're insecure, they try and push you to the back of it. So this very kind of strong energy coming up between you guys. And it's just saying that the situation needs a little bit of downtime, needs time to thaw off. Your person is going to make this movement towards you. Um, like I said, probably going to take a couple more months. <laughs> I know, probably take a couple more months. But you have this energy of them creating those shifts towards you. And there is that sense of... Um, thinking of you they are thinking of you and they are thinking of a way to kind of get back to you and they just got back in your arms by I can't remember who sang that but coming back to you coming back into your arms you are this light to them you know you are this beacon of light in dark times that they are going through and so they see you in this very kind of strong positive like I said flame of inspiration for them life without you isn't so easy life without you isn't really what they anticipated it to be in fact so we have the alignment of your energies okay your energies are going to align with each other it just needs a little bit of thawing off time a bit of thawing off time like i said just imagine taking something out of the freezer and leaving it to defrost that is what needs to happen with the connection it needs a little bit of defrosting time just a bit of downtime okay letting all this kind of thawing energy or the ice that's being created it just needs to melt a little bit progression routes between you guys yes over here we have a progression route okay so not all doom and gloom we have a progression route um are you on their minds yes you are when they're feeling stable when they're not feeling stable and they're feeling a bit alone and they're feeling a little bit insecure they push you to the back of their mind overall you're largely there um would I say it was 50% of the time? You probably, if we were going to kind of put a percentage factor on how often they're thinking about you, I would go for about 40% of the time is when they're thinking about you. And the other time is when, you know, they're thinking about other things because they're really, really distracted. Uh, 
potentially they've got a lot going on in their lives anyway so they, they like to keep themselves dist distracted and then when they have that kind of negative energy and that heavier energy around them that's when they really bat it down and it's interesting that you guys are kind of the opposite when you're um feeling stable and secure you don't really think about your person so much but when you're feeling really low and missing them that's when you think about them so you have a mirroring energy here but kind of like a reverse mirroring energy so likely to be a more divine connection and that is set number one okay my beauties have an absolutely blessed week and i will speak to you soon lots of love ciao Okay guys, deck number two. So what we're doing today is, are you on their mind? So regardless of your individual circumstances and situations, it's looking at the collective energy between them all. Whee! This deck is so, I've hardly used it. It's very rigid, um, very firm still. So you can't bridge it as easily. Uh, right, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. And then we are off. So two more, one, whoosh, and two. Are you on their mind? Let's do this. Is deck number two, are they on their person's mind? Ooh. Straight away, we've got the devil coming out. That is a big indicator of a yes. Page of Cups. Queen of Wands. For you on their mind. Ten of Swords in reverse. Keep that one that way. That's a hand slip. That was four cards. Are you on their mind? I like the way Spirit always influenced the cards to jump out as they need to okay i just lost one where did it go Usha. okay right queen of cups three of swords are you on my mind yes you absolutely are on your mind on their mind they're on your mind and you are on their mind okay both of you are thinking about each other your person is feeling quite a heavy energy from this they really aren't wanting to stick around, are they, today? Um, your person is feeling quite a heavy energy from this. We have a bit of sadness. We have a little bit of loss, a little bit of yearning, a little bit of grief. You guys have gone through a bit of a difficult time and there has been this heaviness associated with that. Heartache, pain, struggling. Both of you have gone through a difficult time. And it's really interesting on this that we have the spider kind of lingering at the bottom. Spiders often kind of symbolise home environments and also female energy. Um, so... I just got on, on about Athena and Arachnia then as well, spirit muttering away in my ear. Um, but the female energy kind of coming forward over here. Um, so they are quite upset about this. They are quite upset over what's happened with you guys. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but there's always a female and male energy when it comes to tarot. And with spiders, they always symbolise the female energy. Probably a lot <laughs> to you guys. Horror, probably a bit of horror going on with that, but they do. They symbolise this female energy. So there is this heartbreak over you guys watching, okay? You lot, they're feeling quite heavy over this, feeling quite sad. And this is where that missing energy comes forward. We have the devil card right next to the three of swords as well. So with this energy coming on here, your person is still chained to you. They are still thinking about you. They are at a bit of a loss over the situation. Regardless of how they might have looked like they've handled things, there is the sense of loss and there is the sense of grieving and there is the sense of I really miss you, I want to speak to you, I want to talk to you, I want to communicate with you. And even if you guys are still talking at the moment, there is still this heaviness kind of coming up around you both. But you are on each other's minds. Really, really important that you know that. Now the devil card can often be seen as the darker side of the lovers. So the lovers, we have this kind of really happy, beautiful relationship. The devil side it is the kind of the heavier energy that comes from the lovers so it hasn't been an easy connection it isn't an easy connection between the two of you but there is a very strong love happening here now with the ten of swords in reverse this is indicating that most of you guys the situation went to a bit of a close but it got flipped around so there is a re re uh, rebirth and recognition and realignment of both of your energies coming up over here okay sometimes it takes a little bit of time for someone to realize what life is like without you and this is what seems to be happening with deck number two this very strong missing energy this loss i'm feeling that your person is feeling lost 
they are feeling very very last there looks to be a bit of an influence of other people on this so it could be that other family members have got involved could be that perhaps they've got third parties involved if you don't know about that it's because i'm not talking to you if you are wondering about a third party it's because you already know about them so you have the influence of other people kind of coming up in these cards as well and um, now it looks like they might be talking to specifically one person about the connection with you and saying how much they miss you saying how much they want to talk to you and they're the person that they're talking to seems to be a friend OK, and that friend is kind of actually giving them a bit of a push to communicate with you as well. So you have them acknowledging the connection. You have them acknowledging that they are feeling heavy and sad over this. And you have them acknowledging that they want to move things forward. And we have the chariot over here as your longer term objectives. So in their mind, this is what they want. They want you guys to be together. Now, sometimes they go about it a very different way from you. And the chariot often speaks of you guys wanting the same things but going about it a little bit of different ways and there is this kind of duality kind of coming up here as well you know right and wrong good and bad yin and yang and um, all those kind of mirroring energies happening between you both but you wanting the same things you're wanting to reach the same goal of being together so you have your same objectives over here it's just that perhaps things haven't quite gone to plan and you're seeing things in a bit of a slightly different way between you both OK, like I said, there's the influence of other people kind of coming up here. They get torn with you guys, you guys watching between the passionate sexual energy and the emotional energy. And they try and walk the fine line between the two of them. So you might find that often they don't talk to you about how they're feeling and they act more on a sexual basis. And then sometimes you might find that they act on a more of an emotional basis, but they still don't talk to you about it. They go from more of a sexual stance. So you have this energy on how they see you. They see you in these two different positions, passionate and emotional. Beautiful. That's really, really good. That's a good sign. And they are missing this. They're missing this connection. They are missing this bond. And this is what they want. And so they're thinking about this all the time. And, and it is all the time. This is all the time that they are thinking about you. Feeling this heart-centered energy, feeling this passionate energy. They want this from you. From there, we have the Page of Cups and Knight of Swords. So this is I'm running towards you with an offer of love. OK, so your outcome of this is they are going to run towards you with an offer of love um, where they are at the moment and them you being on their mind. Like I said, you have this heavy feeling. You have this bit of sadness going on over the connection between you both. They do really love you. They do really, really love you. They they seem to put a block up. And the fact that either we can't be together or we can't be together yet or I've got some stuff to sort out. They have put this little bit of a block up with regard to the connection with you. And it's a block that's very much in their mind. You know, it's, some of you guys, it might be circumstantial. Like I said, if there's the influence of other people, but you would know about that. But more so with your person and their emotions, um, they do love you. They really, really do love you. But they are just putting these blocks up to say, it's not quite right for us. Let's have a look at these blocks. Can you tell me about the blocks with deck number two? What have we got? It's like they make movement towards you and then they take a step back on it. Spirit is saying that we're discombobulated. It is a bit discombobulated. It is a bit, um, I don't actually know what that word means, but I think it probably means confused. Um, it's like they make these moves towards you and then they backtrack on it a bit. Um, and they'll come towards you and say, oh, you know, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's be in doing this energy. This is what I want. I want to be with you. And then the next second we hit this brick wall. So you have action and then you have kind of going down action to thinking about it. So you, you have this kind of energy coming forward that they make the moves, they backtrack on them and they create these brick walls. But at the end of the day, your person has got this wanting to be with you. This is all fear based energy. They block it because of fear. Because of maybe stuff that's happened in their past, whether they're ready to commit, whether they're ready for a relationship. And then whatever circumstances have caused you to kind of go the way you have, where you are at this moment in time. Your person does love you. Um, let's give them absolute credit on that. They really do love you, but they are, they're scared. They're like a little scared kitten, bless them. But you are on their mind. You are on their mind like 100% of the time. They are thinking about you a lot and there is this sense of heaviness going on in their heart. They're feeling sad. They are feeling sad. And that is deck number two. Okay, beauties, have an absolute blessed week. I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon. Lots of love. Ciao.